Uh-oh. Not another American talking about soccer cards. Four X return in just four short months. Uh, current PSA 10 population report on this card, 15. <laughs> At that time, I was like, wow, that seems like a great deal. But as you're going to find out here in a second, that probably wasn't uh, the best of choices there. All right, number two is a uh, card that I've owned at one particular time. I sold it for 3,000, and I thought, man, I was doing pretty good. I about 3X my money on that. I'm, I'm doing great, right? Well, not so much, all right? All right, and number one on this list is what I would consider to be his true rookie card. All right, welcome back to another episode of the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. I am your host, Matt Powers. Thank you again for joining me. Please visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Also, be follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. Well, Erling Holland has become one of the hottest players, not just in the soccer card market, but in the sports card market overall. And today, we're going to be talking about his top 10 cards. Uh, let me give you an example here. His 2019 Topps Chrome Bundesliga card, number 72, as a PSA 10, back in December, was an $800 card. Okay, Four months later, here in March of 2021, last sale on that card was $3,200. Okay, so a 4X return in just four short months. Absolutely incredible. If you don't know who Holland is, hey, don't worry. You're not alone. Back in September of 2020, I brought on the guys from at Soccer Cards United, Jason and Enzo. Make sure you guys give them a follow over there on Instagram. They run a great, funny podcast about, of course, soccer cards. And I brought them on to talk about, hey, what are the, some of the players that we should be picking up here? Uh, because the soccer card market had been blowing up at the time. And, of course, us Americans, you know, we know some of the uh, you know American players and whatnot. But we're not very too familiar, for most of us, about the European guys. And... One of the guys they had mentioned was Holland, currently plays for Borussia Dortmund in Germany, which of course is known for developing young talent. Potentially a big transfer going to be coming up here in the summer of 2021. Not sure which club that might be, Chelsea or whatnot, but he could be moving on to a very, very prominent club. So after talking with Jason and Enzo, I began to pick up some of Holland's cards. I've got two boxes of the 2019 Topps Chrome Bundesliga. I was able to pull out uh, two Hollands from there. Got those graded as a PSA 10. And I also uh, picked up a uh, refractor ungraded of that same exact card. Picked that one up for uh, $700, which seemed very expensive at the time. I got super lucky and got that graded as a PSA 10, but I will talk about that card uh, a little bit later. But again, I've had a ton of success with Holland, and I thought I would share with not just the uh, European guys, but of course the Americans who are just starting to learn about Holland, what his top 10 cards are. Now, currently his prices are extremely high, okay? He's a very hot player right now. So as of right now, you may have missed the boat on some of these cards. However, I would still be looking for some deals on some of these cards, maybe in some soccer Facebook groups. Uh, or moving on to some undervalued cards that you can find on Holland, okay? But again, these are some of these that are going to be very, very expensive, but there are some more affordable ones on this list. Uh, as with anything, please do your own research before buying any Holland cards, okay? Again, if you believe in the guy and you like the guy and you think he's going to have some value in the future, please pick him up. But later, always do your own research. Don't just listen to somebody here on YouTube, okay? Always make your own decisions that are best for you and your collection, also, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be referring to everything as soccer and cards. I know our European guys want me to refer to it as football and stickers, all right? But just for because I'm based here in the United States and most of my audience is, is Americans, we're going to be referring to it as soccer and also cards, all right? So, without any further wait, let's go ahead and jump into this top 10 list. Number 10 is the 2019 Tops Living UEFA Champions League, card number 154. Interesting card, not for everyone. It's not the best looking card out there. There's some really sharp ones on this list here. Uh, it's just kind of a uh, just a picture of Holland there, not really an action shot. It does have some color matching to the Dortmund uniform, which is kind of nice. PSA 10 population on this card right now, only at 181, so very nice card. Uh, last sale on this one was $400 on March 10th. Uh, number nine is the 2020 Topps X BVB card number 25. 
although not a rookie. I do love the black on black uh, with the jersey and the background matching, the name in white to match the ball and the uniform. It's just it's just kind of a sharp looking card. Solid action shot. Uh, it's also available as an autograph card. Tough to find on those. <laughs> Only two have ever been graded for the autographed one. Uh, the last sale on the non-autograph card, which uh, was $400 on March 17th in a PSA 10 population report of only 405 on this one, all right? Card number eight is a 2019 Topps Chrome UEFA Champions League footballer flash card number FFEH. Sweet, sweet, sweet looking insert. Nice action shot of Holland. Uh, it's also available as an autographed one and also different color parallels as reflect refractors. I love color parallels. If you can find one that matches the jersey for him, it'd be like a gold refractor. Oh, man, those are, those are very, very sought after, but they look absolutely sharp on that. Uh, current PSA 10 population report on this card, 15. <laughs> Just 15. So if you're one of those lucky 15 out there, you've got a great card out there. Uh, last sale on this one, March 6th. Of uh, at 920 bucks, so not too bad. Number seven is the 2019 Finest UEFA Champions League Prize Footballers card number EHA. Another solid insert here. Love how it's got his full name on the card. That's very very cool. A little tip though, if you're looking for the PSA population report on this card, make sure you type in his middle name there. Otherwise, it will not pop up for you. All right. Uh, it's also available as a gold and a red refractor and a super refractor, one of one, which is already graded at PSA 9. So if that person has that card and you're watching, congratulations, you've got a very expensive card. Current PSA 10 population report, just 59. Last sale was $2,500 on March 14th. Whew, these cards are getting expensive, man. All right, number six is the 2019 uh, finest UEFA Champions League card number 116. Love the color coordination of the card with his name, matches the uniform. It's, it's just so cool when stuff matches up on a card. I'm just a big, big fan of the color parallels that match up, but also when the, the base card matches the card of the team colors as well. PSA 9, uh, 9 population report. This one is only 22 on the PSA 9. PSA 10 pop of just four. So very tough card to find. The last sale on a PSA 9 was for $1,500 on March 15th. If you can find this card, which obviously is very, very tough, I would definitely snag one up. This is one of my favorite cards on this list, but it's just incredibly tough to, uh, to find this card. Number five is the 2019 Finest UEFA Champions League card number 91. Nice color coordination again with the name, with the jersey number. It's also available in various refractor color parallels. We'll be looking for those. PSA 10 population report, uh, a population of 269. Last sale was $2,300 on March 17th. All right, getting into the big, uh, big, big cards here on Holland here. Number four, the 2019 Topps Chrome Bundesliga card number 72. Okay, this is the first card I started with, with Holland. I pulled two of them out of those... Uh, Boxes that I had purchased off eBay there for $600. And uh, this one, uh, for example, I got both of those graded. And I got PSA 10s on them. And I actually ended up selling those for uh, $750. So at that time, I was like, wow, that seems like a great deal. But as you're going to find out here in a second, that probably wasn't uh, the best of choices there. This card's also available in the autograph version. And there's various uh, refractor color parallels. You can check those out. Those are highly, highly sought after for this card. Uh, on the base card, the PSA 10 population is 442. Last sale on this card was on March 16th of $3,200. So... Uh, from when I sold it, about a $2,500 price difference. I had two of them. What I should have done was just sold one and kept one just for, you know, to see what was going to happen. But I didn't. I sold both of them. But, hey, you know what? Move on. But I lessons learned. I probably should have kept one of those. Number three is the 2019 Topps Chrome UEFA Champions League Sapphire Edition card number 74. This is a very stunning card. Great set. I, I, I purchased a couple of these cards. And uh, they are uh, very tough grade. <laughs> but this one's also available in a green, orange, purple, and yellow parallels. So we'll be looking for those. Uh, if you get these cards in person and, uh, and ungraded, they have uh, just print lines everywhere, it seems. Like, at least the ones that I've looked at. So a very tough grade. So it's going to be hard to get this card ungraded and get it graded as a PSA 10. PSA 10 population report on this card is 100. 
53. <laughs> so not very many out there. Last sale was $4,100 on March 17th. All right, number two is a uh, card that I've owned at one particular time. is the 2019 Topps Chrome Bundesliga card number 72. So this is the refractor version of card number four. Uh, again, I got lucky. I bought this one uh, ungraded as a uh, for 700 bucks. I ended up getting a PSA 10 on it, so I was into the card for about 800 bucks or so with grading. The uh, current PSA 10 population report on this one is only 75. Okay, so I had one of the 75 that were out there. I sold it for 3,000, and I thought, man, I was I'm doing pretty good. I about 3x my money on that. I'm, I'm doing great, right? Well, not so much. All right. Okay, last sale on this card. Get this. Okay, on March 9th was for ten thousand dollars so i could have 10x my money if i would have just held it for a couple months longer and now again hindsight's always 2020 but i had no idea the population where it was going to be so low on this particular card and again i was just getting into the soccer card market so uh, i thought if i 3x my money on a guy that would be a great sale and it was you know but obviously i, I could have done it a little bit better could have had it a little more 7k more in my pocket again you're never going to time the market perfectly it's just impossible if you can make some good money and move on from a card, if that's what you choose to do, then, then I would do it. But again, you're never going to time the market perfectly. Uh, this is also available in other refractor color parallels, including a gold and an autograph version too. I mean, those have got to be so sweet. That, I've seen that gold one. That is absolutely phenomenal. Very, very expensive card. All right, and number one on this list is what I would consider to be his true rookie card or is our... European counterparts would like to call his true rookie sticker. Okay, I, I, I would probably be guaranteed to say that this was probably a more of a sticker than a card, all right? But that's a 2019 Panini Bundesliga card number 32. Uh, this set is distributed in Austria, okay? So it doesn't necessarily make it harder to get. I think it makes it a little harder for us in American, America to get. So if you're looking to buy this card ungraded and you see it in Austria, that's okay. Don't flip out, all right? That's where this set was distributed, and that's probably where you're gonna find most of this uh, particular card. And if you ever get it in person, these, these stickers are, they're very, very flimsy, and they're smaller than our kind of standard cards. Uh, and it's, it's very hard to get them into the card savers to send them off the PSA. I had to kind of finagle them in there, so it takes a little bit of work to get in there, but they're very, very small and very flimsy. Um, so just be careful when you're trying to get them into your uh, your card savers to send them off there to PSA. Uh, to PSA. And uh, there are actually three versions of this card, okay? So I was on Blowout Cards Forum, which is a great forum for you to do some research on cards. And at Golden Ball Rookies on Instagram, shout out to him there. He was saying that there are three versions of this card, all right? The first uh, is found in the first run of packs, all right? It's got the white chevrons on the left side, okay? Those are those lines that you see. And they fade down, uh, they fade as you go down there. It's a clear image, the back is gray, okay? So that's version number one. Version number two is uh, the white chevron's coming all the way down there, but it's got poor image quality, and the back is actually a dark gray. Right? That's version number two. Version number three is a second run, of, comes from a second run of packs in generic white boxes. It's the same image as version number one, but a bit darker, and the back is dark like version number two. All right, so hopefully you caught all that rewind it if you want to go ahead and listen to that again there you can also find all the information out there on blowout card forums there uh, but the psa 10 population report on this one is 74 and last sale was on march 15th of nine thousand dollars which is cheaper than that refractor but i and i don't know i think this is the long play term for holland is this particular sticker right here i i really think so just because it's completely different than all the other um cards that are out there it's a different size it's a, it's a different feel to it so i think this is going to be the big long-term play now again some of these other ones are very very expensive cards. people really like that sapphire one uh and of course the, the refractor for the tops chrome but if I were picking up something, I would be picking up this uh, Bundesliga card number 32. I really, really like this one. And again, it's just something different to have in your collection. I actually have one right now at PSA that's been there for going on a, a year now, I think. And I have no idea what the grade is. I, I don't think it's going to be a 10 if I remember what it looked like. I think it was a little off center. But I'm very curious to see what grade I get on that one when and if I, I do get it back. So... Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, again, I hope I don't offend any of my European counterparts. This video was tailored more towards the Americans here. 
But uh, again, feel free to comment below. Let me know what your favorite card is. Am I missing any off of this list here? And again, visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Also, give me a follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. And I will see you on the next episode.